good morning and um, welcome to Vlogtober day 26. Sorry about the noise but the embroidery machine is on. I'm just doing some more Tomty bags. <laughs> oh, there we are, we're getting a bit quieter. Um, it's Monday today and unfortunately it's a very miserable day out there. It has been raining and it's been very dull this morning but I can, I can see there's a bit of blue sky up there creeping out so hopefully the rain clouds are blowing over and um, well yes I'm in my sewing room I'm doing a few tomtes um, had breakfast <laughs> I just had some uh, what is it marmite and peanut butter on toast I like that that's really nice so I think I'm going to have to put the bread machine on again today because there doesn't seem to be a lot of bread there <laughs> I blame Jake I think it's him <laughs> Um, well, I've, I've actually been productive this morning before I came out here. I ordered some more wadding and I've restocked on some of my, oh, it's the white fabric with the white daisies on. Well, I've just, I've ordered some of that, so hopefully it's all going to be in stock and we should get it this week. <laughs> I've also ordered some more corduroy and, um, Oh, yeah, hopefully that will be delivered this week as well. And I think we've got, there's black coming, there's stone, there's orange, I think there's red, and I think there's peach. No, I think there's more. Than, and then obviously I've got grey and purple. So yeah, so at least I have a little bit more choice now. But that's exciting. I'm, like I said, I'm hoping everything comes this week and then I can uh, make some more bags. I've just found out some uh, fabric. I bought it a few weeks ago, some Liberty cotton that I bought. And it's Christmas, so I might do one or two of the pumpkin bags with some little Liberty Christmas hats. That might be nice. Uh, so I think what I'm, I mean, I'm looking at that clock again. <laughs> I must stop that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of back fronts embroidered before I go anywhere, and hopefully the you know we won't get any more rain. And then I'm going to go down to the shop for a bit. And well, I need to I'll say collect the fabric, take a few bits down there, and go to the post office. So. Well, actually, I'm going to show you some machine embroidery, but it'll be a little bit later on in the vlog um, when I've had enough of Tom's. <laughs> I'm going to be probably, yeah, no, I'm going to do some snowflakes a bit later on. So, uh, yeah, I'll, let, I'll share that with you. Well, I finished embroidering two bags and I've put the wadding on and everything and by the looks of it that is all my wadding gone. I've just got scraps now. <laughs> so, but what I can do is I can say stitch the bags together and well, I can still do embroidery on the bag so I can still do that for the rest of the week. 
Anyhow, this is the um, Thompson bag with the other, can you, you can say, um, the other bit of um, tweed. I'm not sure what tweed it is, but yeah, I like that. So um, that'll go on my little pile. And on the next one, this time the bag is a canvas. Well, I say a canvas, it's probably just a, a thick cotton. But it's snowflakes. So, so this will have a nice snowflake uh, lining and probably for the drawstring channel as well. So that'll be good. I have got snowflake fabric in the shop, I know that. So I'm going to finish off for now. That's me done for this morning. Um, it is getting on for lunchtime. Not that I'm hungry, I could do with a drink though. Cause, you know, I come out into my sewing room and I never bring myself a drink. <laughs> but still, I used to have a kettle out here, but uh, no, I needed space for sewing and sewing machines and things like that. So the kettle went, but now I'm, I'm gasping. Um, I've just found some designs on my um, USB for snowflakes. And I know I've done them before and I did them in my quite big hoop, which I don't know if it's 8 by 10 inch or it might be a little bit bigger than that. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know a bit later on. And I think there was there was either six or eight snowflakes in there and they're really nice because they're called free freestanding freestanding lace it's called. Uh, but doing all them take 192 minutes. <laughs> which is a long time but it doesn't matter like if I'm stitching some bags together tonight I can set the machine going and I can keep an eye on it it's fine but what I've done is I've just put four snowflakes in the 8 by 8 hoop so that's ready to go so I will be doing that a little bit later on because now it's I've got to go down to the shop now I need to go and fetch my fabric <laughs> so hopefully I'll be back on a bit later on. Hope everybody's having a nice day though. From little the shopping's all being sanitized that's okay <laughs> it's all packed away um all the kittens had to come and join in didn't they they were straight out there of course they're straight in the bags aren't they so we had to remove all the bags off the floor because that's that's something that charlie's always done he's the devil for getting him bags <sighs> i don't know anyhow everybody's had tea um i've sorted out a few <clears throat> online things <laughs> had to deal with Shopify again uh, they, I don't think they just get it when they keep asking for the same information and you keep telling them the same thing and we're just going round in circles so I've sent them a, a bit of a snotty, snotty email back I've just battered enough of them really I must admit though, I have been having a little search online while I while I was doing a few things. I was putting transferring photographs off um, my phone for the today's vlog, so I thought I might as well make a start on that, see if they were there. And I've searched like for UK websites, even though I'm not I just need to look. I need to look and see what's available. I'm trying to find something that's in the UK. It's like all these others are coming up and I'm thinking, well, are they UK or not? Is Wix UK? Is GoDaddy UK? It looks like GoDaddy is UK and I thought, oh, this will be good. Price-wise, it's okay. It's, it sounds like it's an easy, easy one to use, but 
Ron Adele says, no, it's not. It's be West based. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anybody got any suggestions that they know any of any websites that are UK based? So please let me know. I'd be most grateful. <laughs> oh dear. Well, as you'll have seen as well, when we went to Lidl, I got a bottle of raspberry gin and some frozen raspberries. So I'm sorted for a little bit. <laughs> I don't think it will last me long, the way things are going. But uh, my orange gin that I had last Christmas, <clears throat> I've only got probably about that much left in my bottle now. And I think I need to get some more oranges because I really like it with fresh orange in it. So that's going down. And it's not that I'm, uh, I drink gin every day, <laughs> nothing like that. It's just every now and again, I really just want to fancy, fancy a drink, that's all. So I've come back out to my sewing room. This is my evening bit now. Oh, I'll have to dig in, look at that clock. Um, so I've, I'm going to put the snowflakes on now. These are, I know I said earlier, it's freestanding lace. Well, it's, they're like tree decorations, things like that. And they're ever so pretty and they're absolutely gorgeous they are. So yeah, I'm going to set the machine going. And as you've seen, I've got my fabric, so I can start, well, I can start putting the bags together, actually. So that's exciting. So that should keep me busy for a little while. <laughs> so hopefully, um, oh, I don't know if you'll get to see all the snowflakes tonight, 92 minutes. You might do. You might do, I'll say. It just depends what else I'm doing. I must admit, I had planned on making some pumpkin bread today, but, or well, this evening, because I thought if I set the machine going, I could go and do that. But it takes a while to sort of mix all the ingredients together. And to be honest, I could really just do with making a start on sewing these bags together. So I think I might save the pumpkin bread till tomorrow, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Bye. <sighs> finished these snowflakes now so I've oops I need to cut that thread I have just taken them out of the hoop and just cut the excess off so that's what I'm left with now so I have four and what I'm going to do now is go and soak these in some water to get rid of all this stabiliser here and um, just enough so the snowflake is still a little bit stiff. <laughs> so you've got to be careful here. And if you can see there, there's a little ring and that's where you put your thread so you can hang them up. And they look really nice hung on the Christmas tree. And you can hang them in your window, things like that. I've got sort of bead ones in my kitchen window, which I've had for a few years now, and they look really nice. And they're all year, I keep them up all year round them because they're not sort of, well, look, they don't look like snowflakes, but they, they are like for Christmas. And yeah, but you could also um, put these on presents as well. If, if you like to wrap your presents up nice and fancily at Christmas, you could put a machine embroidered snowflake on. I've also got some stockings as well, so I might do a few of them as well this week if I've got time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and give these a soak and I'll probably show it to you when I've soaked it, but it's going to take overnight to dry, so I won't be able to 
put the um, cotton in to hang it up but when it's all dry I'll show it with you on an another vlog so yeah well, I've got several designs oh, I've got an itchy nose <laughs> I've got several designs of snowflakes so I'm going to probably do a few more <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm getting a dry throat so that means I'm in need of a cup of tea oh, I think I'm going to call it a day now for the sewing I've just got one bag fully lined and finished and the other bag the other two bags I've got the um, channel on for the drawstring but I haven't got any fabric for the lining I thought I've got some cream here but I haven't it's all white what I've got here so I'm gonna to have to have a look at work and see if I can find a piece and then the other couple of bags of the grey so I have got some grey fabric here so that'll be tomorrow's job oh, I've got a tickly nose now <sighs> saw these fibres <laughs> oh dear well I'm gonna go and see what the kittens are up to because when I left them they were having to play and um, they've been running around the house a little bit more and Charlie's been around and he's been pretty good he gets a little bit scared of them though I don't think he knows what they are but he didn't like it when he got cornered the other day in the conservatory we'd got one at one side of him and one at the other side of him and he was backed up, up against the door so I had to go and step in quickly and give him a fuss and reassure him that everything was fine. I mean, I only want to play with him, but he doesn't realise that at the minute, I don't think. So he's still a bit wary and a bit grumpy, but apart from that, he's, do he's doing okay. He's, he's accepting. Whereas Elsa just, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> she just runs off. <laughs> so yeah, it's a cup of tea time, I think. So thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody's had a nice day, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And I shall see you all again tomorrow. Take care, everyone.